not resist, Branya. No! I, I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unfly, when faced with irrefutable. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to affect. You're brainwashing and here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. One, these guys have come through hell to get... And two, do you remember what I... Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then... Then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! Zeal... All of you... <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to... It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Huh? I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous gen. My conviction was once steadfast. Unpaired and compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation. This was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. And I would descend into torment. Branya, enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have in Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kakolia, I am great, but I... I am so... <clears throat> You say that conceit and cowardice, what about those simply struggling for our ancestors? Built this city, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Say, we are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Belabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands, and you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Architect's Engine Machines! Watch out, all of you! Rules 
rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Stay alert. Rules are made to be broken. Stay alert. Better up. 
Just a scratch. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair! I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. Hard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Serval. Come to my senses? What are you? Guards, Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. to the underworld. How will 
those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You 
one today. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. The die is cast. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! Time for the old world to collapse. Is that all?
get away. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You will know justice. In the name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! Today, the only redemption. Of trailblazing expedition. We made it! But. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the eternal freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore. But nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life. But it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. <laughs> Start thinking. We're going to need all the humor we can get. At least the biggest turtle is behind us. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a... No. No. Sila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or 
What can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But, I get what you're trying to do. Sorry. I'll be sure to make it up to you. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the Overworld and the Underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jabbar to... serve... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? <sighs> I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you, help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted, but let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun? No. For Bellabog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Um, thank you. That's not answering my question, though. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry.
Yeah. <laughs> 